Good morning, and welcome back to I Almost Spilled My Coffee Again, Winnipeg. Okay, now, I did come back to the model table. I did work on the sprue pan. Uh, we're going to zoom in and take a close look here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's not very green, is it? Just let me recompose a little bit here and... <laughs> oh, that, that was genuine. Remember about four years ago when I did the rigging on the Bismarck? I was playing O Canada or something on it, on the, on the rigging. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I just don't know what to say about this. Well, I guess I, I guess I soon will know what I'm going to say because I will be saying it. Now, if you will recall, I was saying that I was not going to do any videoing. Well, when I put this thing in the vacuum chamber, and I realized that I had pretty much a whole hour to kill while it did its thing, I thought, hey, I, I do have time to do a little videoing. So what I did was I grabbed my camera and I, and I uh, did a handheld shot, which I'm going to show you right now. So, okay, what you saw was this stuff boiling. And it looked like a, like there's a huge amount of air coming out of there, but <clears throat> in all likelihood, each one of those little, or, or rather I should say large bubbles, was probably a, uh, a, a volume of air just microscopic. It's funny how that works. And it, and it just kept, it'll keep boiling like that for the longest time. Okay, so... Uh, now, I've, I've, uh, my sacrificial, well, it's sacrificial now, my f homemade funnel thing that I made up here. Uh, it, uh, okay, first of all, remember I was talking about going downstairs and putting this whole thing in the pressure pot after it was done in the vacuum chamber? Well, if I was to take this off, it, it would, uh, it would have flowed it would have flowed over, over, all over everything and made a huge mess. So I was realizing, well, I can't do that process now like I'd wanted to. And uh, another thing you can, you notice that a lot of the, the sprue is, there's very little sprue on, on the bottom. I figured I was going to be seeing that. This is the, by the way, this is the first time I've actually taken this off. So, uh, yeah, I kind of figured this was going to happen. Uh, but we should be able to use this this top half, at least. But but now this this thing here, I don't know how I'm going to get it off of there. It's I'm going to have to make a new one. I'll I'll, I'll probably save these these dolls. I'm just going to quickly take this apart here. Yeah. Okay. Now my plan is to try and pare this down. So that it will be able to go flat along the table of the bandsaw. Like this. And then what I will do is I will I will cut this, you might call it a, sort of a flange or flare or whatever, off. So that the entire thing will be this wide, all the way all the way down. Then what I could possibly do is, because obviously it's very concentrated right here. So, uh, yeah, then what I could do is I could probably go, th go three quarters of an inch this way or almost, and then another three, three quarters of an inch and just, we just lose the bottom here. And, uh, we'd probably be able to get two, two full size, 
uh, what I call cigar pens out of this all being well. I think what I'll do is uh, after I get this flange cut off uh, I'll just cut maybe uh, oh I was going to say a quarter of an inch off the bottom and see what it looks like see if we're starting to get down to the concentrated and then and then just split the difference at least that's that's the plan and then as far as this goes I was looking at it it's possible that I might be able to uh, glue it back together again with a hot glue gun. I originally put it together with uh, uh, epoxy glue, but uh, I think the hot glue gun would probably do just as good. All it has to do is just, you know, seal along along the bottom there, and uh, it doesn't look like any of this was was uh, was damaged. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. But on the other hand, I may never use this thing again anyway. I may find another way of doing this. Now, what I should have done. Okay, what I had done was I poured the pieces in here so it was well, probably three quarters full. And then when I added the, the, uh, the acrylic, the liquid acrylic, it, it, it sat on the top of it. It was too thick and it wouldn't go down through. What I should have done was when I was mixing this stuff up in the cup, I should have poured this into it in, in sort of like a batter, if you know what I mean, and then poured the, <laughs> the sprue batter in here with all the little pieces. I think that would have worked better. That's what I will do the next time anyway. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's take this down into the workshop and see if we can pass it over the bandsaw and, and trim it up. Okay, because this is probably going to dig into my zero clearance uh, insert that I've got downstairs there. I'm just going to get rid of some of the rough edges here. I, I'm going to be very careful not to, to let it rock over this way. I want to try and keep it as flat as possible. Yeah, just make it smooth so it doesn't catch on anything. Now I wasn't expecting this, but our piece is not going to sit square on the bandsaw. I'll move you in a bit. So that means that I'm going to be doing something that I don't believe I have ever done with my bandsaw before, and that is tilt the table. Well, how many times have I not said, life is what happens to you while you're making other plans? And it had been my plan to go down into the workshop and run this through the bandsaw. That stuff kept happening, and one of the things was I just got off, this, just got off Skype with my friend down in Mexico. He's coming home this week. Yeah, the snow's gone, so he's coming home. <laughs> yeah, he's been down there almost half a year. Lucky guy. <laughs> anyway, I started to talk about the color here, that this is, this is blue, not green. Well, what happened was, when I first started mixing this up, it was green, just like this. And it slowly got bluer and bluer and bluer. It started out as green and, when, and then it went green with a hint of blue. And then it was blue with a hint of green. And now it's blue. Don't know what happened. Some sort of chemical reaction maybe uh, between the green dye and the white that I added to it to lighten it. I, I just don't know. Never had this happen before. It's just not the end of the world. It would have been nice if it had been green. But if it wasn't going to be green then I may as well have uh, you know, had red like uh, UK Jason had suggested. That would have looked good too. Probably better than this. But this will be all right. Uh, I'm gonna try for green again. We, we still got, uh, you know, quite, quite a bit left here. Uh, we'll, we'll see. But I won't be going down into the workshop to this afternoon. Well, it's this evening now. Yeah, it's this evening now. So I won't be going down to the bandsaw. We'll be doing that in the next episode the next update with this thing so yeah 
So thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you in the next episode.